Hey, what's up everybody? It's BDF44 coming at you with another video. All right, so I haven't made many videos this week. Uh, it's been a very, very interesting week. I've had a lot go on uh, personally, so I'm just trying to, um, you know, manage all of that and get back to you guys with the type of energy that, that I want to bring. So at this point, I can say that there's something I would like to talk about. I don't know if it's true or not. It's just a rumor. Uh, but I hear that Andre Drummond is looking for a buyout from the Cleveland Cavaliers, and if he can get that, he would like to join the Brooklyn Nets. Um, I don't know if that's true. Drummond's going to have a lot of suitors for for uh, for his his services now. If there is a buyout, I think there's something wrong because I do believe that you can get a lot for him in the trade market. So buying him out doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, but I'd have to look at the numbers or understand the stipulations that may be in place. I just simply am not aware. But I can tell you is um, as currently constructed, the Brooklyn Nets, in my mind, are going to lose uh, in the NBA Finals to the Los Angeles Lakers uh, in six games. If they're able to acquire Andre Drummond, I'm going to have to change that. I, I just don't know. And the reason why I say that is because, to be honest with you, the only thing the Brooklyn Nets really need outside of defensive players is a big man. <laughs> Someone that can give them an answer for the big men. Uh, like Anthony Davis, Joel Embiid, etc. Um, Jokic, of course, I want to mention as well. If you don't have an answer for those people, if you don't have somebody in the paint that can give them fits or make them at least work on the other end of the court, if you don't have that, he's going to eat. And he's going to eat big, and he's already a champion, and he has LeBron James next to him. And a bunch of guys around him that can do a lot, including Montrez Harrell backing him up, cleaning up glass, and just making things very difficult on you as well. So if you don't have a big man down there, yeah, Kyrie Irving, James Harden, Kevin Durant, legendary offensive talents together. We've seen that now. We know what that looks like. They need help in this, inside. There, there's just no way I see them, those three, having success, having to guard some of these bigs, man. They're going to have to find somebody else to do that. And DeAndre Jordan is not the answer at this stage in his career. JaVale McGee is not the answer at this stage in his career. Even though they're talking about acquiring him, he's still in Cleveland as well. Neither one of those guys are the answer. But if you throw Andre Drummond in the conversation, I think he can be the answer. <laughs> I, I do believe Drummond is one of those guys that I say, okay, now we got a problem here. And the reason why is because, how, how, uh, is because of how active he is offensively and on the glass. He's the best offensive rebounder and rebounder, probably rebounder in the game, period. So you add the best rebounder in the game to that trio, and now you're starting to talk about something. But to be completely honest with you, I don't see – well, I don't think this is possible. But the place that they really need is a shot blocker, a defensive player, someone who doesn't look to score really much, someone who can rebound the ball but not really an offensive talent. And Andre Drummond is a lot of things, but he's not a defensive talent. So their defense still could suck really, really, really bad. But what he does provide is somebody that could at least make them work on the other side. What they really need is what they just lost, which is Jared Allen. They should have found a way to keep him in that, keep him out of that deal, and um, you know they weren't able to. So at this point, they got to find that player, someone with that skill set, and uh, it's just it's highly unfortunate <laughs> because he was their very own player. They drafted him, they developed him, and he's turned into something very close to an all star in my mind. And you know he had to be involved in this deal. Um, and of course, I want to make sure everyone understands that I would have done that deal too. But it's just very unfortunate that they had to give him up. And that's what they need. Someone who does what he does. So uh, that's what I would say is ideal. But if, if that can't be found, yeah, you best believe Andre Drummond would be a great player to have on that team. And I do believe that would be a series, a real series uh, against the Lakers or anyone else. You know, the Brooklyn Nets are potent enough offensively um, to really keep the score high every single night, no matter really who the defense is. Uh, I don't see a team in the league right now that that is defensively constructed properly uh, to effectively beat a team like that, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, a team with that type of structure, with, with two incredible guards and one incredible uh, small forward, power forward, you just don't really have defenses that are structured to really play like that in the league right now. Um, there's some teams in the past <laughs> that I think could give those Brooklyn Nets uh, – a whole lot of fits defensively. I think about the Detroit Pistons that beat the Lakers, I think in 04 or 03, whatever year that was. Um, think about some of those Spur teams, you know. Think about a lot of teams um, who were really meant 
for this type of team to kind of go up against this type of Nets team. But right now, I don't look around the league seeing anybody like that. Um, my Laker team has defensive issues. As good as we are defensively, we really do have some issues, uh, particularly in particularly inside. So, yeah, Andre Drummond can sway things in the East if he goes to the right team. I think the Celtics should be looking to try to acquire him as well. Um, there's a couple teams that could use him for sure, um, including the Clippers. So he's not going to be uh, short of any suitors, and we'll keep an eye on him to see if he stays with with Cleveland because if they do keep their team together, I don't see why they can't make a playoff push themselves. I think their team is good enough to do that. Um, so we'll see. Um, thank you guys for watching. My name is BDF44. I think that's about all I'll give you. I'm out.